Hi, I'm Adrian Kennard, Andrews and Arnold, and I get tired of saying this, but encryption is important. You can't ban it, it exists, and I just don't know how to get the message across. We have the IP bill going through Parliament, and it has a, some very vague wording. There have been some questions in the Lords to try and get a straight answer from the government. Will this bill ban end-to-end -end messaging applications like iMessage, WhatsApp, Telegraph, Signal, messages that have proper end-to-end -end encryption? The government will not answer that straight question. It has the possibility to do that from the wording, but no one can be really sure until it's in law and someone starts prosecuting people. Someone goes to prosecute Apple because iMessage is end-to-end -end and can't be encrypted, can't be decrypted. It is pointless. You can do end-to-end -end encryption on paper, with pen, paper and dice, nothing more. I, I have done a video that shows how to do it. If you have end-to-end -end encryption done on pen and paper, then even the law saying you could hack my phone and get a keylogger to log my unencrypted message before I type it into the app, even that law won't help you, because I'll do it on pen and paper. Even the law that says you can hack it to see the camera and the microphone. If I go in a room with no phones or computers, make my plans, write them down, encode them, encrypt them with pen and paper, and then I can send that encrypted message out on the internet publicly, write it on a billboard somewhere. Only the intended recipient could read it. And that's done without a computer program. That's done without a company selling me an encryption solution. So the crazy thing is the French and the Germans want to do something about this. They want it so that with a court order, companies in the middle, the communications providers, and, and the, the over-the-top applications providers, like the people who provide WhatsApp or iMessage, would have legal obligations to decrypt messages with a, with a court order. Well, that's fine unless there isn't a provider. My pen and paper solution, you can get books on it, it's used in the war, it's not complicated. That solution has no provider. There is no one the law can go after saying, you need to decrypt this message, because there is no provider. The encryption is done by the people at each end. The same is true with lots of encryption applications. If ISIS wanted to, they could write their own encryption app and they are then the provider. Can you imagine that? A law that says, oh, ISIS, we need you under court order to decrypt the message between this terrorist and this terrorist. And it will be illegal for you not to... Yeah. That, that's kind of what they're saying, isn't it? That, that's what they're trying to do with this law. If a law could stop encryption being used by terrorists, then it could stop terrorists in the first place. Laws don't work like that. Maths doesn't work like that. We need the protection of encryption because there's a whole group of real criminals out here, not the tiny minority of terrorists out there that kill a handful of people, are far more likely to get killed crossing the road than by a terrorist, by massive amounts. There are people who hack bank accounts, there are people who hack communications. I see junk mail every day trying to get me to fall for something, and it is encryption that helps keep me safe from that. That's a real crime, that's happening to lots of people, everybody, and we need the encryption to protect us against that, and if we make flawed encryption systems for commercial use, for normal companies and normal people to use, then we lose some of that protection. The criminals, of course, won't be affected. They can still do real end-to-end -end encryption, using apps, using their own apps, using maths, using pen and paper, whatever. But the normal people, the non-criminals, will suffer. There is no point in having this debate. It's been had lots of times, and there's no point. Please get the message.